Now, all three of the major indices on Wall Street fell on Thursday after the Chinese stock market dropped nearly 3% to hit a nearly four-year low. Our Godian He takes a look into what may have caused the jolt to the financial system on both sides of the Pacific. U.S. stocks closed lower on Thursday, with the main indices all falling more than 1%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average tumbled more than 300 points, or some 1.3 percent. The S&P 500 dropped over 1.4 percent, and the Nasdaq plunged more than 2 percent. This comes after China's Shanghai Composite Index slumped to a near four-year low on Thursday. The Chinese renminbi also dropped to its lowest level against the U.S. currency since January 2017 as the U.S. Treasury failed to label China a currency manipulator. Investors are worried these drops might lead to a global economic slowdown. There are also renewed concerns about the trade spat between the world's two economic superpowers. Tensions show no signs of easing after Larry Kudlow, the director of the U.S. National Economic Council on Thursday, referred to China as unfair and illegal traders stealing America's intellectual property. China's Commerce Ministry said on the same day that the U.S. should drop its protectionist approach. For the future development of China-U.S. trade, we hope the U.S. will drop the protectionist approach and create a stable business environment for small and medium-sized enterprises from both sides to truly benefit the consumers of both countries. Analysts say there are other reasons besides China for the slide in U.S. stocks such as uncertainty over relations between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. This is after Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said he would not attend a high-profile investment conference in Liyadh due to the controversy over a missing Saudi journalist who is presumed to have been murdered. Kuruni, Arirang News.